Hello, Seth here from uh, yeah the audio tutorials. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to control any sequencer with your fancy iPhone using OSC. You know, now that we have the iPhone and we have all these OSC applications on the iPhone, Mr. Mr. Touch OSC, um, and many more, we want to control our Ableton Live, our Logic, our whatever with OSC. But the problem is that we can't um, use the iPhone directly to control Ableton Live. Most people get stuck here and don't know what to do. And I'd like to show you in this pretty brief example how to use OSC to control Ableton Live. I'm using free tools here. You can do the, uh, the absolutely same thing by looking on the Mac. I don't know of if I don't know of any Windows applications who do the same thing, but on the Mac you can you could download Oscillator, which is not a free application, but here I'd like to show you how to do it in Pure Data. Pure Data is very easy to use and it has some graphical user interface you could use. And from the Pure Data's website, you may want to go to the nightly auto builds. And here you want to download the latest. And here you should, should uh, select the appropriate package for your needs. Most of us want to use the not developer release, which is devil, we want the extended version of pure data. So just download one of these up, uh, packages. In my case, I took the 10.5 Intel 368 uh, release, open it on your computer and then create a new patch. They are called patches. Let me just move away all these different windows and now that you have pure data installed um, the first thing we need to do <laughs> need to do is we need to set up our computers first um, you need to make sure that both the iPhone is on the same network as your computer Th in my case I turn on here the internet sharing function and start it and now I'm connecting you can't see that in the screencast but I hope you get what I mean uh, what I'm doing here is just I'm creating an internet sharing point and right now I'm connected with my iPhone with that uh, internet or with that network I'm starting now touch OSC and here you need to uh, tell touch OSC now where it should send the OSC signals to this is the same thing in every OSC application on the iPhone. Look, just look for the uh, settings and there you can set a receiving computer. In my case, I can find out the IP address of that receiving computer by going to the network utility, which is pre-installed on every Macintosh. Um, from here I select the airport because that's the sharing, the sharing interface from my computer. I'm now setting up my iPhone to send the signals to this IP address which is 160.254.168.225 Please make sure that you rem memorize the outgoing uh, port. In my case this is uh, the port 8000 8, uh, and the incoming port is 9000. I now click done and can close these two windows and now we need to uh, have a look if we have set up everything correctly. First of all you need to put here a new object which is called import and then you import the functions from Mr. Peach. I found the, this uh, object by pressing command 1. You can do that manually by going to the menu bar. Okay. Um, then we need to uh, UDP, UDP receive and you know the, you probably still know the uh, receiving or sending port. Here you need to enter the 
port from where you're sending the OC signals. Um, then you need a, a new um, object which is called unpack OC. Now we need to connect these two guys. Just hover your mouse of one of these outlets and then um, connect these two. And just to see if we have set up every, everything correctly, I just put here a print object. And now we can actually see if it's working by going to the console. And when I press a button now on my iPhone, you see in the log file down here that the um, signals are actually uh, coming in. Okay, this was the setup part. In the next screencast we will talk about how to make sure that the OC signals we are sending from our iPhone are uh, coming straight into uh, Ableton Live and this involves um, transforming all the OSC signals into MIDI data.